distribution of wildlife poses some puzzles for modern biologists. Why do we find giant land tortoises on islands in the Pacific Ocean and 10,000 miles away in the Indian Ocean, but nowhere in between? Why do we find identical plants on either side of the Atlantic Ocean? These kinds of disjunct or split ranges can't be explained by the way organisms travel and live in the present. The worldwide flood described in the Bible and its effects on the Earth may offer essential clues to explain these split ranges. Of course, many fish were able to survive outside the ark. Even freshwater animals could survive. Many people don't realize that fresh water from rivers like the Amazon can float for years above the ocean without mixing. So freshwater animals could survive the flood in fresh water, floating above the salty ocean water. Many plants that weren't on the ark could have floated during the flood, some even in the floating fresh water. As the floodwaters receded, plants and fish would have been left behind at lakes and other places around the world. Many plants would have continued to float, providing a way to distribute animals after the flood. After Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, hundreds of thousands of Douglas fir trees were ripped up and remained floating on the lake 25 years later. If Noah's flood ripped up every forest in the world, mats of trees probably stayed afloat for centuries. As winds blew these enormous log mats in circular paths in the oceans, they would have served as rafts for animals to cross oceans. Rafts may also explain how tortoises got to remote islands. Interestingly, most modern animals and plants with ranges split across oceans follow the pattern of modern currents. Their distribution can be explained by rafting. In this way, the flood and its aftermath provide a solution for one of the many mysteries of biology, split ranges. <laughs>